Who else you thinking about? I can't be calling your phone every day. What could you think about? All right, guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna talk about my latest pickups. Otherwise, I'm gonna bring you along my day. And uh, of course, we're gonna start the day with some AG1 and copy. Let's go. Today we're gonna to talk about pickups, and uh, it's been a long time since we talked about this. So I got some like huge, huge grills and uh, some really nice stuff that I want to show. You. So first of all, the Balenciaga. I think they're called like big baggy trousers or something. They are so fucking huge. It's uh, extra small actually. I think the smaller size is extra extra small and I actually need a smaller size so I need the smaller size. But these are very nice and uh, I kind of mostly use black uh, colors nowadays but I like to have these and like switch it up sometimes. Mostly use them for a Sunday fit or or something with a tank top or something like that. But in this video I will show you everything, like every everything styled and yeah, like that. Alright, let's do the, the jacket. This is a... Many of you have been asking me about this. This is a Hello Emil jacket. So fucking cool, like a, a tank kind of jacket. And um, you got all these details like for example, this is like a, a closure into here, and sometimes I style it like with a with a cross bag. For example, with my studded Prada bag or something. It's like the silhouette is, is super dope. I snug it up a bit, so uh, so it's more cropped. But you can also wear it like more straight, uh, like that. Mm. This is so I I get so, so cool. many compliments on this jacket. It's mm. super fire. It's it's never gonna go out of style, I feel like. No. Also, like, uh, there's so many in Copenhagen that has this now. It's yeah. Like a, a whole wave now. Yeah. But it's, it's so damn cool. So cool. Yeah. Yeah, Hello de Mille is uh, Denmark, Copenhagen. Yeah, it's based, Copenhagen so. based. Two guys from Copenhagen. Yes. Started. I always wanted some, some sandals. And usually people, like, get the Rick Owens, uh, like the pony hair sandals. I think it's made of horse leather. And it has like a more bulky look to it. So it has like these two platforms, which make like a really, really cool look. I feel like, and the quality on Anne is like top notch. You don't get it any better. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's like Rick. Rick and Anne has the best quality in my opinion. Even Anne has a bit better sometimes, I feel like. Mm -hmm. Uh, I really started to 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 get into M. I, I feel like it's 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 a really cool brand for sure. Mm. And now that we're talking about M, I also cut these pants with the with the sandals. I was very lucky to get the the last size of these like their kind of flagship trousers. But these are kind of um, they're a bit waxed. Mm. But not too much. I'm not that into wax jeans, mm -hmm. but I really like these because they only kind of make them look a bit blacker, like deep black. Um, and he told me that after some washes, that they're just like, it's gonna disappear the wax. So these are insane and they fit me so good. Yeah, they're so nice. It's perfect fit. Yeah, it's nice to wear them like with some, some techy stuff on the top mm. um yeah so really happy for these the yeezy 950 you all know these restock but only in america um but i actually managed to get like the og pair from 2015 some dude who was who just realized like i'm doomed i cannot sell these for two thousand dollars anymore i have to just like sell them for retail fast or something like that and uh 
I heard afterwards that the OG version is actually a bit different, that it has a bit another silhouette. But let me do, know down in the comment if, if that's true, I'm not too sure. Uh, but I always wanted these and actually you, you guys know if you follow my channel. They, these, I feel like these are so sick. It's fun how um, I thought these were like the most chunky shoes sometime and, and now they're more like... These are like my smallest boots now then. They're mm. not like that big now. Alright, so... As you all know, I'm a big fan of the Prada Studded Bag and I um, actually found this in red on like a Danish second-hand market. It was a girl who just also actually just wanted the black one and she sold like for like nothing. And I got a big scoop out of this and uh, actually I really like the red color mm. when I wear all black and have the... the the red on it's like it's it's like pop and it's okay actually so i saw it in white as well i didn't know that existed yeah yeah it, mm. it's like in so many colors there's black mm. like yellow i think like yeah uh, red black the the most rare is black black that one is fire as fuck okay. i think it was an essence exclusive ah. and then there's the black white i really also like the black mm. black i think that's black and black is, i think maybe it's the best so the huge ass box, you must be wondering what the fuck is this, but let's see. These are the Bozo boots with the, the zip uh, and leather. I really love this boots, boot. Um, this is like my go-to boot actually. Mm. I, I always use this and it's... It's so sick. I actually got it from um, from My Therese, where they had like a 50% off or something like 40% off, then plus 30% or something. It was ridiculous. I got this for, like I sold my, I think I, I sold my old, like the shorter one for mm -hmm. more than I bought these. Mm, that's they, nice. They, these are, yeah, so, and it's so nice with all the, you know, you get the huge ass, Toe back to match with the huge ass boots. Nice. Yeah, so that's that's pretty sick. All right, for my next pickup, the potato banana box is always like it's destroyed or something. I don't know. But they're they're pretty. Yeah, it's good back. good marketing they did there. Yeah, and also like huge ass bags, like dust bags. These are heavy as fuck. Mm. So I finally went and got the the tire boots. Uh, better late than than never, I guess. But these are like really become one of my my go-to boots, and I just really love the silhouette and how you can stack your baggy jeans on these. And yeah, I, I actually one thing I don't feel like they're so comfortable. But somehow I have to, to walk them in. I get blisters all over when I when I take these on. Mm. Um, it's because there's something in the back, right? Yeah, there's we'll something like here. You can even see it. I tried so many different things, but yeah. that's why the Bose or Regones is more like my go-to also. Um, but these are, are super fire and I, uh, I'm they're so nice. eager to, to break them in. They're, mm. they're so nice. And I think they're just like so clean and fits with all my my stuff. So mm. yeah, the tire boots. <laughs> Alright, guys. So for my next pickup, I got the Martin Rose. Uh, I think it's called something like Crop Puffy Jacket or something. Um, it's it's like reminiscent of a, like a real real uh, biker jacket with the inner linen here. Mm. Lining, sorry, and um, like all the detail, also just the fit. Mm. It's it's super super fun actually to wear because you can wear it in so many different ways. And um, I actually considered this jacket or the puff jacket that I got, but I I ended up going with the puff jacket. And then a year later, I was like, I saw a campaign uh, <laughs> right before Utopia. 
with Travis yeah. and he wore, wore this and I was like it looks so damn, cool yeah damn I have to get this now mm. and then I got this so uh, yeah super happy with this mm. really it's and so also cool. you you use it more yeah, than me I've something. been <laughs> I've been using it a lot I just feel like it's yeah, I it's, like it over. I like oversized jackets, and yeah. that one is quite oversized to me. We can show on both. Yeah. For my next pickup, oh, this is not actually a pickup, but uh, from Any Percent, my brand, we I, we finally got the the cab ride and uh, made production of it, and this is like it came out super nice. kind of made like the cap from, from scratch because there was no existing silhouettes of, of this form. And they were like in the start, we can't make this, it's impossible because you always get like a bump up here when you when you produce it because it's so, mm. like how the panels are, are made, it's like, it's so hard to mm. do it. But, but finally we got it right and it came out super fucking dope. I'm, uh, I'm so excited to show you guys this. And uh, also, we're in the works with, with so many more stuff and it's gonna be sick. We're actually moving to Portugal to live nearby the production. And yes, that, that's gonna happen a lot next year. So, super fire. All right, so I bought this in Tokyo. I actually also made a video where I commented on this. So go check that out. But uh, it's the Matcha 26. Mm. O only used this until before and I had to mix it up a bit. I think the Matcha is so freaking good. Yeah, it's Tell good. me which uh, ones you are using. I, I want to get more inspired. Um, but yeah, maybe I'm, I'm gonna use one now. One spray. Mm. One spray day. A lot of you guys asked me about these uh, tank tops. So I just wanted to show them. It's just like the... the Unique little tank top. Uh, there's nothing special to them. It's kind of like a, a rip. Mm. You can see, and um, the fit is really good, and the quality is on point. Mm. And I think in Japan they cost like three, five dollars. Like nothing. yeah, yeah. So, but but uh, really sick, for sure. Like a good uh, good piece that you just have to have in your closet. I feel mm. like. Okay, so I got. The Quadrat Rev Simmons blanket. So I needed a new blanket and always wanted this. Uh, I feel like this is a super super clean for my mm. for my like interior. I was like I have it over here. Like, see? Yeah, so nice. Suits the sofa. It's a nice. Uh, Color. Yeah, and, and it's like off white, mm -hmm. white. Creamy. So bags you've been using? Yes, a couple of bags. Huge shout out to my friend Bois, who made this bag for uh, his brand Lac de Moon. Mm. This is like an uh, everyday bag now. Use it for grocery shopping or just if I go with my laptop and uh, have to work some some place, I go with this. This is super convenient. Yeah, it's like nice. a like a big tote bag, but I like the it's like super heavy cotton and the lining is super cool. So it sticks to your body and it really holds up compared to maybe like uh, some other tote bag, like just you know when it just mm. falls like that. This is super. It just keeps the shape very yeah, nice. Yeah, I like that a lot. Last pickup. It's the unique though. Back, mm. uh, like tick a crossover, take crossover, yeah, something like yeah. that. Shopper, yeah, and you can even use it like just as a huge, huge ass tote bag. Mm. Um, but it, you can style this in many ways. Keep it like that, this, or snug it up, or like hide it so it mm. more looks like a, a belt bag or something like that. But the material on this, I'm, I'm actually really surprised. It's Super nice. Yeah, it's very and, uh, nice. Kind of unusual for Uniqlo to make materials like this, I feel like. But it's um, super dope. I bought this in Japan also for like... Nothing. I feel like, like it was $10. $10, the, the yeah. Most, like, 
But I've seen it in Copenhagen as well. It has different colorways. Yeah. I've seen it in beige, so mm -hmm. I think you can get it all around. Yeah. But that that's it. For that's the, a heck. Uh, that's it. Now we're gonna fix my uh, car. I have to get a new battery for it because it's it's an old car. Sometimes you have to switch that out. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. We can bring you guys along. Yes. Let's go. All right. So now we're on the way to. Uh, to get a new battery for my car because my my car's battery is just like old and tired and it doesn't really work just right like five minutes ago we just went out in the mm. middle of the road like really embarrassing <laughs> and we had to uh, like stop people to ask if they had a start starting cable and um, it ended up with uh, we got some help from uh, my sister